G'day everyone and thanks for stopping by today. I'm going to work in my Delusions art journal page today and I'm just going to be a little bit on the messy side today so I am just letting go. So this Delusions art journal is still fairly new. Now I do only want to work on one side of this and this morning I actually went bin diving and that's it in the craft room bin diving and I've got these bits and pieces here that I'm going to use to collage onto my page so I've got some leftover die cuts I've got a paper doily here that I've got some more die cuts I've also got this paper towel that I tea dyed and I just dried some tea bags on it so I'm going to use that some book paper some music paper and I've also got some delusions and distress paints here so I picked out some colors that I'm going to use and I've also got some tissue paper here also now as I mentioned I am just having a play today and I'm going to create some layers in my art journal page so with all my elements I'm just going to glue them down using my collage matte medium by Ranger and just sticking them randomly all over the page just make sure that everything is dry so I'll just give it a blast with the heat tool. Now I am going to add some stamping to my page which will be a subtle hint coming through the paint. Now with the paint I do start at the lightest colour and work my way through to the darkest colour and today I'm just going to use my fingers I'm not going to be using any brushes. Now I will be adding some more stamps uh, to my page here. This will add some extra interest. Now all the products that I use today will be listed over on my website and my website link will be in the description box down below. So be sure to check out the supplies that I have used. Now I am going to add some black and white to my page and this will allow me to doodle on these areas with some paint brushes down the track. By using my fingers and the paint it also brings out some of the texture to the page uh, also which I really do love. I just keep adding layers of paint until I'm actually happy with what's on the page. Now I'm going to make marks on the page using some plastic items in different shapes. So I've got a little tic-tac box here, just going to just do some rectangles and I've also got a cap of something that I'm going to be using to create some circles on the page as well. This will create some nice layering and texture uh, to the page also. Just going to add some more stamping to the page before stenciling some of this on with some paint so I've just got some different colors here colors that I've used already on this page I've got some washi tape here that I'm going to use but uh, washi tape doesn't stick very well so I'm just going to use my collage medium just to apply this to the page and also to the top of the washi tape as well. I'm just going to add some more black and white paint to this page just using my fingers again just to accentuate this as I will be doodling in these areas.
Now when I doodle, I doodle everything from shapes to lines to circles to arrows to dots, just whatever comes to mind. Now I don't know if you've noticed but some of the white paint pen is coming through purple and that's the colour underneath the black which is really interesting to see. So this will add some extra interest to my page also so I'm not bothered that it is white that it's coming through like a purple colour. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. So I've also got a black paint pen as well and I'm just going over some of the areas that are in a lighter colour that will show up some doodling also. Also got a paint pen in crushed grape that uh, I'm going to go over in some of the areas also so just some arrows and so forth. Now I've got this alphabet stencil here and I've got a stencil brush and I'm just using the Dilusions black marble paint just to stencil out my saying which is let go and play uh, which I've really had a good play today with. So just going to make sure that this is all dry and then I've got just a felt tip marker and I'm just going over and joining all my letters together. I'm just going to make my letters pop off the page a bit more and give them some dimension just by adding some white paint pen to the left hand side of each letter. Now that's my page finished for today and I hope that this has given you some inspiration. If you have enjoyed this please give me your thumbs up. If you haven't done so already please consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell for up and coming videos. And until next time happy creating! See ya!